I'm sure you've heard of the insane amount of tech layoffs going on and you're probably wondering, should I even bother trying to change my career during a recession? In this video, I'm gonna go over just that. I'm gonna go over my thoughts on the job market and the absolute best job is to go for right now. I'm gonna go over AI and how it's going to play a role in the upcoming automation and what you can do to AI recession-proof yourself at the end of the video, I'm going to go over the absolute best place to go along with the absolute best resource that you can get started in your cybersecurity and IT career in the next 90 days. If we look at the market, this is by Wolf Street, we're going to notice that there is a declining in jobs. This is basically the last three month average. And as you can see, it did peak way back in 20 and now it just dipped. <laughs> you heard about all of these stories like people getting six figure jobs in a month while they were true in in at the top of the market they are not really true now and the thing is when you're in a bull market like this that we see everyone looks like an absolute genius but when the market starts to go down and the, the principle applies to the job market, you're going to really need to get creative and you're going to need to actually become a more competitive person in the job market. Now, when everyone is desperate for talent, you don't necessarily have to be the best because employers are so desperate. But when talent is available so easily from all of these top companies, you're going to have to make yourself competitive. And then on top of this, if we look a little bit deeper into all of these layoffs, there's going to be something that you're going to notice. Most of these are software development positions and software development teams. But there is an entirely other side of the tech world that isn't often discussed and is not is actually really resilient to recessions, and that is infrastructure. Infrastructure falls underneath IT, and infrastructure is essentially the maintenance of all of these computer services. There is infrastructure security, so these infrastructure systems need to be secured. And so they're essential services. And so letting these people go is very similar to just firing all of the plumbers in the world and all of the contractors and the people who maintain the roads. They're very essential to the core of the internet operating properly and you being able to go to google.com. And on top of that, recession, cybercrime is probably going to increase during a recession. So these jobs, while you may see a few, they're not actually going to decrease that much. And a lot of the cyber jobs are compliance, so it falls under governance, risk, and compliance. And these need to stay because if, if a company is not in compliant with the regulations based on their industry, then they would get fined millions upon millions of dollars. So these jobs, you may see a few, but they're not going to be that hard hit. Going off of that topic of infrastructure, you might be wondering, will AI automate all of these infrastructure and cybersecurity jobs? And the answer is no. Software developers are more prone to be automated by like things like ChatGPT than infrastructure. I predict with AI, the opposite is actually going to happen for infrastructure and the need for infrastructure because AI is going to need way more infrastructure than it currently is. And so I see that we're going to need a rapid build out of more infrastructure to host all of these new services that AI is going to provide that I'm not even really aware of or how it will come by. But the need for infrastructure professionals is going to explode. And you may be wondering, wouldn't software developers just go into infrastructure then? And the answer is no. Software developers look down upon infrastructure and they call them maintenance or the help. And a lot of them would absolutely cringe on taking one of these maintenance type of jobs, which is absolutely great for you to get started because it is a lowly position that I guess they are too good for. Usually in the past, it's been software development as the most opportunities. I really think that's going to shift to infrastructure and also cybersecurity. And then you can later on specialize with infrastructure security or infrastructure, 
which is cyber security and what I actually work on. This is absolutely fantastic because there will be lower competition for you. Even though there are still plenty of jobs, you do have to make yourself more competitive. And the way you can make yourself more competitive is number one, focusing on skills and building out your portfolio. This is super important and something many people don't do, especially when trying to get into a job like IT support. They're like, why do I need a portfolio for this? If you have a portfolio showing how you've done those skills that you need, your chances of getting hired go through the roof. The next way that you can stay super competitive when trying to land that first role in IT is making sure that you ace the interview. And the only way that you're going to ace that interview is if you get that practical experience that you need to do the job. Now this is a catch 22, you need the experience, but you've never done it. So how do you do it? At the end of the video, I'm gonna go over the best resource that you can go through that actually gives you that experience and exactly what you're going to do on the job so you can get started as quickly as possible. So where exactly is the easiest place to start your career in this next infrastructure boom? I've been through tons and tons of courses and resources and the one best place that you can go to is Course Careers and they have an IT support certificate program that has gotten tons of testimonials and has helped people effectively change their career from where they're at to a whole new career that wasn't even related. Everything is very hands-on and project-based, so a lot of that stuff is missing in a lot of the curriculum that I have gone through, but this really just teaches you the exact unique skills that you need to get started in that entry-level IT support role with absolutely no experience and no degrees. They also help you out if you get stuck on the labs. There's a whole community that is willing to help you, including IT professionals. So if you don't have that network, this is a great place to create that network to help you get immersed in the tech industry. And probably my favorite part is that it really just goes into the nitty gritty so then you're able to pass that interview and actually talk about the things that you did. So I haven't seen any course on the market and I've been through a lot that actually goes into the exact unique skills that you need to get hired into this role fairly quickly. And the absolute best thing about it is that you can get started for free below without any experience or degree. And there is a link in that description. And if you use that link, you get $50 off. So to me, this is an amazing deal, especially how much a college course costs. It's around 1300 to 1600. So, and I've been through lots of college courses and I've been through the course careers IT support course. And this is way better than any college course that I've ever taken by actual, actual person and is created by someone who has worked in that position for many years. If you wanna get started, that link is below in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.